Hello again. Hi, hi. We're back here for another video. Yes. Uh, on my... <laughs> debatably first character? Yeah, yeah, technically. I think Bob had art first, but... I think, I think, because I made them at the same time, and I think I drew up Bob. I drew up, like, a quick reference for Bob, and I'm like, but I really want to draw this character, and then I did. She was super ambitious at the time. Yeah, she was, uh... Very ambitious for, for me at the time, yeah. And I was very proud of that art for yeah. a long time, but... Dude, I'm still proud of that art. It's better than I could do. Well, sure, but... But I this mean, art's really good, too. Yeah. It, it did need an update. So... Hence why it got one... A while ago. Because she's already had this art for, like, a while now. But... Anyways, we're here to talk about... Uh... Burgundy, Evelina Elizabeth, Summerfield. Yes. Uh... Who is a fifteen-year-old Vespa Quinn uh, with pressure? Because I think that's the only ability they can only has, have pressure. Yeah. Uh, she's naive and highly curious. Uh, has all the order moves and air, air slash, slash, and she is in Sweet Green House. Uh, she has she takes science, environment, health, math, English, language arts, FCS, art, and music. Uh, she is five foot two, which is small. Small. Uh, her birthday is October 11th, and she has the blood type of B, because... B. Of course, B. Uh, let, let's actually, let's actually look at the number of, uh, B puns we have here. So, uh, her full name, uh, her initials go out to Bs, which yes. has always been the joke. Uh, Elizabeth is specifically spelled with a Z, because Bs buzzing. and buzzing. Uh, and her blood type is B. I think there's more. Her B, her, her, uh, her, uh, cup size is B. Yes. Yeah, yes. Thank you. That's... Yes. <laughs> yeah, you you came up with that one. I yes. did because I thought that would be funny. Yes, that one, it is funny. But yes, I was about to say there's another B joke somewhere. But yeah, that that was the one. I forgot about that one. But um, yeah. What do we what do we say about bees? Um, uh, she's a very good kid. Yeah, she's 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 very good. Uh, she listens to. Uh, what what adults say a lot. Yeah, no, you know. she she has she doesn't have a rebellious streak in her. Does just doesn't have a. She 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 doesn't like rebel against the man or anything. If you tell her to do something, she'll just politely do it. Yeah. Um. She's very. Uh, she's pretty sheltered, I'd say. Oh yeah, no, I don't think she knows how she, the world she, works. N well, it's not so much that she doesn't know how the world works, because I don't I don't think it's that. I don't think that she's just like she's just very clueless in a general sense yeah it's not like that she specifically doesn't understand like certain things it's just that she's just yeah. she's just generally kind of clueless she's she's intelligent in that she like she's like book smart she's book smart yeah no but she's not street smart no so uh that's mainly her character is that she's uh you know, kind of, kind of, a little bit out of her element with most things. She, here. she looks up to other people a lot to kind of like guide her through through what she needs to do. Yeah, because she's not really used to you know being on her own, making her own decisions. Uh, which is it's kind of why she. Yeah, kind of why she's here. Uh, we'll get into that one in a little bit. Um, what was the thing I was going to point? Oh yeah, uh, I guess just like characters that she interact with um we've mentioned the the two main ones which are cecilia and candace yes um obviously she now goes to school with cecilia again after not having seen her for years years uh she she the reason for that uh i i'm not exactly sure if we're gonna I can't really expound no, on that. No, but um, basically her parents told her not to... Uh, Hang out with her anymore. Yeah, and that's the main reason they didn't see each other. And she just kind of... Uh, went along with it. Went along with it. Uh, she wasn't happy about it because she does really like Cecilia, but like she also didn't have it in her to be like, well, I'm going to hang out with her anyways. So, you know, that's kind of what where we're at with that one um i guess there's a her other good friend snacks yeah yeah who uh 
who you know she sees as as a as a good friend um I don't know if they would, like, meet often. No, but it's like, you know, if, you know, like, they, they might see each other. I guess, before. like, I guess if there's, like, like conventions for certain, like, type of product, which I know is a thing that exists in yeah, the Yeah, 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 obviously. Um, they would probably run into each other there or, like, similar events if they were with, like, the entire family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, they, they, they would, like, interact on occasion and, again, she... She's under the impression that they're really good friends, and he's, uh, he would kind of, uh, not agree with that. And by the entire family, we mean the entire family. Yeah, because she does have a big family. She's a very, she they has, both have very big families. Uh, yeah, I think she has seven older brothers, and he has... Seven older sisters. Yeah. He's half Kangaskhan. Yes, and she is half, uh, Beedrill, as we have noted. But all now. her siblings are Malcombi. Yeah. So... And all, all his sisters, by the way, are Kangaskhan, which is kind of why I picked that. Yes. Um... Mm, 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 mm. Oh, um... Uh, I guess as an interesting fact, uh... She's part colorblind? Yeah, those are her glasses. If you're ever wondering why they were tinted, she's red-green colorblind, and her glasses correct that. Yes. So. so she's not wearing her glasses like she can't see red or green. Which is interesting. Yeah. I think that's neat. Because, like, she used to just kind of have the tinted glasses, and I was like, is there any reason for that? And you're like, well, no, because Westbicon kind of has the red eyes. And I was like, what if she's just colorblind? And he's like, yeah. That works. We'll go with that one. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, she also does have uh, literal wings. I don't know if she... I don't remember if she initially had those, but she does have them now. Yeah, uh, and she can fly. She can fly, like, a little bit. She's not, like... She's not gonna fly long distances, but she can, like, you know... Like, in battle, she can, like, Hover kind of, a couple she, inches She can kind of flit around, yeah. Yeah. Um... Other than that, uh... I think we've mostly covered everything. Yeah. She's just very clueless, but very excitable, very interested in a lot of things but yeah, she's a good kid yeah you know she doesn't have she doesn't have a mean bone in her body she doesn't have a hateful bone in her body she's very she wants to get along with everybody you know that kind of character yeah uh as for her parents um who do you think we should do for the mother uh, I usually start with dad, but we can start with mom. Well, I mean, time. well, I mean, like I, I feel like we might have more to say about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can start dad, with mom. So. We can start with mom. But I, I think we would start with mom here. Um, uh, her mother, uh, uh, Bella. Her middle names escape me. Summerfield. Yes. Uh, her name used to be Beatrix, but we had to change it. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Didn't you pick that one, and then you were like, "Wait a minute." I did, and I was like, "Wait." <laughs> yeah. yeah no, so so. Her name is Bella now. Uh, who is 47, uh, she's also a Vespaquin, and she is, uh, impish and strongly defiant. Um, unlike her daughter, uh, when she was, uh, a kid and she was, uh, set to take over the family business, uh, she actually did, uh, ignore her parents quite a bit. Yeah, and no, she was quite the rule breaker. And, uh, went in against a lot of things, uh, probably shot down... Uh, some sort of arranged married because we like to have those with these Yeah, no, families. we like to have those. I think she definitely picked her husband of her own free will, and yeah, I don't yeah, think definitely. her parents would have liked her husband very much. No. Um, however, I guess unlike uh, uh, Laurel, she kind of uh, turned out a little better in this regard because she didn't lose everything in the process. Of yeah, no, that. exactly, yeah. So, so I think her parents were, were slightly more less insane. Yeah, so... Uh, you know, that, that all turned out decently well. And, uh, she kind of, the thing with, with her parents as a whole is that they're kind of trying to, this is not, this is not a big, a big thing. So I'm just going to talk about it. They're kind of trying to like have her speak out against them more because they feel like she's being too too passive and not like making enough decisions of her own like they raised her too well yeah they raised her too well she's too 
obedient. Yeah. Like, like she doesn't decide anything for herself. She, she doesn't go in against anything. She doesn't, like, anything anybody tells her, she will just do without question. Because yeah. that's just the way she was raised. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> they're kind of hoping that by... First of all, uh, that was one of the reasons that she wasn't allowed to talk to Cecilia. In the hopes that she would then go and do it anyways. Yeah, and be like, oh, well, screw you guys. I'm going to be talking to my best friend. And she didn't do and that. And then she didn't do that. Because it's really important to emphasize that they're not cruel. Because I know you would hear that and you would think, oh, they're assholes. And people do kind of think that about them. But they don't mean but, it like that. Yeah, but they're absolutely not. Like, that's the thing there, is that they're not that way. They, they seem that way, but they're not. Because they really just, like... They want the best for her, and they think the best for her, and know that the best for her is to not just blindly follow what people tell you to do. Yeah, no. Because obviously from experience, like, her mother would know that that's not, that's no way to do things. No. But, uh, to their, to their horror, uh, she does exactly that and follows them. To a T, basically. Yeah. And, uh, that's why they're, uh, they're sending her to, uh. A school that's, that's, you know, gonna have some battling, which, uh, for the record, she doesn't really, she hasn't really gotten exposed to. No. Like, I don't know if they expressly forbade her from doing that, but. No, see, they just generally didn't tell her about it, but she never really found out on her own either. Um, which is interesting, because, of course, uh, her father, uh, used to be a professional battler before he retire to like take care of the family and... yeah uh he battled with the zubri miu camp yeah. in the singles division there they were all kind of old colleagues friends oh abram yes. too like all that whole pile of, of of singles division battlers that are kind of like in their midlife crisis age kind of like yes. everybody that's kind of in and around that age yeah so they uh, they all they all fought together but she doesn't know about that so um <clears throat> it's probably something that she's gonna eventually find out. Find out, and yeah. Be... But that's not a big spoiler, so no, because it's a thing that's like again, like basically most characters would know this, but her. It's just the fact that like because of her uh, father's different last name than her when he was a battler, um, people wouldn't maybe not make that connection instantly. Yeah, but... no. Yeah. Ah, uh, so. Uh... Our father, uh, I guess we'll just talk about him now. Uh, he's 48. He's a B drill. Uh, his name is uh, Winston. I do have his name. I did have his names picked out, but they again escaped me. Yeah, they're somewhere buried in some some. But yeah, his 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 name before he got married was Winston A S Pierce, which uh, spells out wasp. Which and is now, a... <laughs> and um, now he's wasps. <laughs> yes, he, he, now he's just wasps. He just multiplied. He multiplied. He multiplied when he got married, which, I mean, I guess isn't inaccurate. No, because he's got fucking a million children. He's got a million children, so yeah, now there is wasps. Yes. Uh, they're not quite the same species. Anymore, no, they're not. None of his kids were I just, I just wanted to have uh, a similar but different thing with his name, and uh, that's what I settled on. <laughs> I like wasp. Yes, I thought it was pretty good. Yes. But, uh... And also now their uh, their full names with initials are both plurals because it's bees and wasps. Yes. Now. So that's that's. Funny. And then it works. They work together. Anyways, he has a brave nature and a sturdy body. Um. To talk about him for a minute, <laughs> he's not. Uh, we haven't like super fleshed out his character because we've never actually like seen him i think bella had like one thing where we were mucking around in the backstory for something and i think bella showed up i think so but he's like not really been seen because mostly because like a lot of the characters within the crowd he would interact with or at least one very major one uh, obviously isn't one of our characters so like that wouldn't really that'd be kind of strange yeah to do that so that's a thing for later but basically um, he's just a genuinely nice guy, um, which, uh, seems to be, like, I don't, I don't, when you're, when you're a father, you're either a complete asshole or you're just a complete nice guy. <laughs> like, there's, there's very yeah, little no, in he, between. He, he's very quintessential this story dad, if you're a good dad. Yeah, um, he doesn't, like, quite, uh... 
Basically, his his wife is definitely the one who wears the pants. Yeah, no, and he's okay with that. He's not. He's yeah. He's more okay with it. He's not a doormat about it, but no. he's he's just kind of all right with it. He know he knows his wife probably knows better. So yes, as as, as he's known for probably quite a while. But yeah, uh, I I don't know when exactly they met. Do you have like any? No. No, not even no like idea. a ballpark. No. No. But they've been together for a while. I mean, they have eight kids, so yes. it can't they can't couldn't have been that old. No. I mean, d- do the math. Yeah. I think how old is their was their oldest kid? Didn't I math it at one point? You did, and I don't remember. He's like twenty. He was like in his late twenties, I think, or mid twenties. Yeah, he's like twenty four or twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. So. They've probably been together for at least well over, uh, well over twenty years. That's yes. not... They're they're the most normal out of the rich people pile. Yeah, by far. They don't really have any like major quirks or or anything. Like they're they're just the couple who's just you know. They're definitely of... the beta couple in that way. To everybody else is kind of like. Yeah, like everybody else has kind of like had their ups and downs, but they've just kind of been. They've been just well. steady the whole way through. Yeah, no, like, they don't fight, really. They don't. They don't really fight. They're just, like, you know, they're happy together. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're like, down to the, the disgustingly cute couple, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, I think it's gotten to the point where people kind of, like, get, like, they've had it too good for too long. It's almost <laughs> like, like, the more, like, cynical and mean ones of that bunch are like almost like wishing ill on them because they've had oh, it too oh good. definitely no no i i absolutely i absolutely think that there's conspiracy theories about bella i absolutely yeah. think so no completely uh probably one of one of the few that like or one of the few families that haven't been invaded by uh by the sticks curse no because like bella would beat the shit out of uh bradford yeah. She would she would fuck him, I swear to god. Not like that though. Like but no <laughs> she no She would fuck him, but she wouldn't fuck him. No, no, she, no, she would make him humble, I swear to god. Yeah. She would do it. She no, you would not fuck with her, honestly. She'd just fucking laugh at you. Yes. No, but yeah, like I think I think like of of all the cuz I, I I think he's not even tried there because also uh her husband would probably beat him up. Oh yeah, that too. No, no, cuz he's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, so Oh, what, that lawnmower I could fucking take him? Oh, professional fighter? No, oh, no, I'm not going to. Oh, I mean, you can, you can keep your eye. I'm sure she's lovely. And, and, yeah. You know. <laughs> Pussy. Yeah. I'll just, uh, I'll you, just, you, you keep her. I'll just take whoever Cedric brought along this time. <laughs> yeah, like he's going right. to fight me. <laughs> I'd love to see him try. Yeah. But, um... Mm, I think that's about it. Right? Um, they're just good. They're good people. They're good people, and they have and, a uh, and Bees is good kid. A, a good a good kid, yeah, but she's, really she's a little bit too good of she's a kid. Too good of a kid. <laughs> she's too good of a kid, and they're really hoping that uh, she can you know get a little, little just just a little bit more more bad. You know, because a little bad doesn't hurt. No, she she needs she's, slightly more of a spine. She's she's too good. Yeah, yeah, that that that's she she's too soft. She doesn't. She needs to grow a spine because she can't. She can't one day run a company like this. No, because no, people will no. walk all over her. Oh yeah, no, no, and that's that's not good for her. And that's the last thing that her parents would want. So is she is she gonna grow a spine uh i guess we'll have to find out yeah we'll have to see but that's kind of the we're we're, we're setting up her arc here yeah this is this is uh basically her arc and uh, i i think i think it's always been that yeah but yeah that's that's i mean that's still her arc now so um i think i've basically said everything that i wanted to say do you have anything else to add um, she, uh, Candace is a bad influence on her. Yeah, but she needs a little bit of a bad influence. <laughs> Candace is the more bad influence here than Cecilia. Like, see, you know, honestly, like, there's other reasons too, but honestly, I think the reason that her parents 
where like you can't hang out with Cecilia is because Cecilia is too good of an influence. Oh my god, no, it's no, because Cecilia is like eat your vegetables, go to bed in time kind of shit, and, and she would be like, like okay. okay, but yeah, no, Cecilia is a total enabler of Burgundy's kind of like need to follow somebody's direction. Yeah, so I think I think they 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 specifically said no no Cecilia, but. Do hang out with Candace because maybe she's maybe she can be just enough of a bad influence on you <laughs> to like, you know, get through to you a little. But no, no, e- even 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 that didn't help. No, so. off the boarding school you go. Yes, where Cecilia is. Oops. Oops. I don't know if they knew that. I don't think they knew that. No, I don't think they knew I don't that. Think but they knew that. I mean, hey, if she hangs out with her, that's technically against against their rules. Either so way, they win. That's a start. Yes. But yeah. Um, I guess that's it then. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah. Uh, see you for... What do you want to do next? Probably snacks, as we said. Probably. It's skipping forward a little bit, though. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to, like... I'll play catch-up and do tangerine first. Yeah. I should probably do catch-up and, uh... Uh... Play catch-up and do, uh... Bob, since he's like the second character, and he's like, we've already done the other character. Yeah, he's... so we'll have kind of an intermission character in yeah. the form of those two, and then we'll kind of go back into like an order. Yeah, we should probably figure out an order off screen. That's what we should do before. We yeah, get probably. Sleep. Because uh, yeah, we are going to go to sleep very soon because it's late. But uh, yeah, did a good number of these today, and uh, I guess we'll see you for whatever we decide to do next. Probably one of the things that we said. Yes. All right. Bye. Bye.